Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install Eclipse and uh, get started with that and learn how to uh, use it and write a small uh, program, a Hello World program, if you will. Um, now, sometimes it is a little bit uh, confusing because there's so many options, but um, we'll just start with the basics and get you going. Okay, first of all, in Ubuntu, you've got to uh, open up a terminal and install Eclipse. So you'll have to type in sudo apt-get install Eclipse. Now mine's already installed, you just have to wait for the prompts, that sort of thing, and get it installed. Then after that, you open it up, you go to File, you click on New Java Project, click on that one, and then give it a project name, My Project. Okay, now I keep all of these the same that you'll see here. Uh, the latest, 1.6, you'll want to keep that there. And these, you can do whatever you want here, but I like to keep them in the same folder. And uh, click Next. Okay, great. Now after that, you have to create a new source folder. Let's get it going. So you click on that, then you type in a source folder name. Um, my source folder. and click next that's all fine, click finish and then after that you can see your source folder in there okay then just click finish there okay now it still looks pretty empty but from this point this point what we need to do is create a new class file so we go to file new class and we type in uh, a name where the prompt uh, leads you to straight away. I'm going to go with my class. Keep it as public as you would want to. Uh, everything else here is default methods that you just, yeah, it's great to stay with. You probably click that if you were using a console uh, application. I'll just type that in later though. This is all defaulted, so that's fine. And click finish. Okay. Sweet. Now, what you're going to see is pretty much jack, jack all. What you have to do is go to the uh, window menu, then go down to um, open perspective, then Java browsing, so you can see everything. So click on that, Poppy. Sweet. Now it's all in there. You can see your projects, your source files, that sort of thing in there. And you got your public class there. Now I'm going to create a quick uh, hello hello world app I I mentioned before, so I'll type that in. Uh, you know, public static void main string args. then uh, console so hello world so system dot out dot print in line if you want and I'm going to write hello world hello down under okay now that's all done so let's compile and execute which is just a little plus button here. Click on that puppy. It's going to ask you to save, of course. Save the changes. Oop, and we have an error already, and I can see why that is. Which brings up my next point. Okay. So on the console, it's going to mention a few errors. Now, as I can see, we're actually missing the uh, semicolon right there, of course. So that's put there save it if you like, press the play button, and there you go, you got the console screen telling you that you've got the hello down under, so you've got that output there. Too easy. Now, uh, it does bring up the issue of uh, where the problem is and uh, what are you going to do with it. So, you also have to go back to window, 
then down to show view and go all the way down to problems then click on that and you've got your second tab right there as you can see so let's make that mistake again intentionally this time and click save and there it is it shows up what's the problem syntax error it's missing the semicolon of course sweet what else we got line 7 too easy so click on around there and you'll find down the bottom that's line 7 it's missing the semicolon too bloody easy throw that back there, save if you like, compile and go hello down under great, too easy okay thanks for your time guys cheers